So on today's episode of Taking Back My Power, I've got a former guest by the name of Tam, who I met through my lovely fiance, and I'm going to be interviewing him on his version of Taking Back His Power. I'm going to be asking him if he can give the listeners a roundabout brief description of a situation where he was in a circumstance where he felt like his power was taken away. What what did he do to to regain control of his power? How how it made him feel once he regained control of his power? And if there's a need for it, he can give to listeners. So thank you, Tam, for joining me on my podcast. So can you give the listeners an example of a situation where you felt like your power was mm-hmm. taken away? Yeah. Well, lovely to be with you again, Chidi. Um, I could give you so many examples through my life, but let's give you the last example. It may be of some help to your listeners. I'll keep it short and sweet. I was walking in my hometown up the street by a pub and outside the pub, there was uh, a bunch of about seven or eight young men having fun and celebrating because they were a football team and they just won. I walk up and uh, I'm looking, I'm saying, wow, they're blocking the whole pavement. And I go, you've always got to generate options, Chidi. Um, many people were walking up and they were going onto the road or walking across the street to avoid this. So that's one option. I walk up and some of them are looking and they're happy and they're looking at me. And then I think, well, I feel a little bit disempowered. Uh, And I go, how do I respond to this? I can cross the street. I can walk onto the road. I can go up an old man and say, excuse me, boys, pardon me. Can I get through there? That's another option. Or the option I actually took to regain some element of power just walking down the high street was to walk up to them and then walk straight through them. I zigzagged straight through them and came out the other end and thought, that's that's fine. I didn't touch them. They didn't touch me. I just walked through this bunch of young lads were happy and celebrating and had a few drinks. And you might think, Chidi, well, that's not much about regaining your power. But when I went through, Chidi, one of them says, pardon me, mate. And it wasn't done in a way, oh, um, we are sorry or pardon me. They weren't asking for an apology, Chidi. I took it as if by their tone, they were saying, pardon me, mate, as if how dare you walk through us. And I turn round and I say to them, I look at them very slowly, look at them, and I say, you're pardoned. I walk away. That was a few days ago. If I had went any more extreme, it would have been a boxing match. They would have beat an old guy on the street. If I had decided to cross the street, my opinion, my emotions, I would have been avoiding something. I think to myself, it's not really fair that they can block the street. Ladies are coming up here with prams and toddlers. If they had just let me go, it would have just been, okay, I just walked through them. But when I heard the challenge in his voice, pardon me, mate, as if, how dare you walk through us? I could have walked on, but I did stop and I says, your pardon. Does that make any does that make any sense to you, Chidi? And knowing you the way that I know you, you're not a guy to back down from any challenges. So and from, from someone that is also a person that is not that is not that is not used to be back down from any challenges. I think you don't know I think to be fair, if that was me, I would be like and what are you looking at? But, yes. Mm-hmm. And, and and that's that's the subtle thing about regaining yeah. power. Regaining your power is just keeping in your power. The minute I overstretch and say, or what are you looking at? I've went beyond keeping my power, then I'm pushing into their power, if this makes any sense. So, so but finding in, the balance. in that situation that you've just given, was there any part of you that was scared? I was aware in my hometown that some of these boys are very volatile. They're all young men. They're in a group. Yeah. And there was a part of me that was aware that this could get out of hand incredibly quickly. Some of them, a little bit to drink. If I had overextended, then I would have forced them to respond to me. So it's the subtle difference of finding what is the appropriate amount to regain your, or keep your, maintain your power, but not force 
force people into expressing expressing their energy and pushing by. So it's a little bit like Tai Chi. Um, don't push people. You don't let anybody push on you. You just say in a sort of neutral way, but you don't buckle. You don't cross the street. You don't, oh, pardon me, boys. I'm an old guy. Can I get through, please? Because I would have been giving my power to the situation. Answering your question, yes, there was a little bit of concern in me. But when you're aware and say, how volatile can it get? It could kick off. You need to day to day and minute to minute somebody's always going to be pushing on you trying to reclaim your power or expressing their power it's the subtle way of going allow them to express their power but don't let them push too much on yours that you give up your power to them is that any help to you or your listeners that's, that's wonderful so my next question would be for anyone that is in a situation where they feel like their power is taken, is being used against them, or they feel like they're losing their power, what would your advice be to them? That's a good question, Chidi. It all comes back to one thing, how much awareness we have of the situation, how much awareness we have of the feeling, and what's the consequences. So it's all about awareness, about using this piece, not using, not so much using our feelings, because our feelings can be changeable as we've spoke about in the past your feelings change from second to second yep. but you can be aware of the situation you can look at it step back a little bit from the situation and say is this game worth the candle is this person who can really take my power in truth Chidi the power we are speaking about cannot be taken from you you willfully give up your power does that make any sense yeah well thank you very much for your interview Tim. hopefully people will be encouraged by your bravery because I, I I, I am. I'm, I'm really encouraged by your bravery. I mean, someone that's in his mid-70s, is that's, that's just amazing, you know, because not a lot of people would have your confidence. Like, is it, I know a person would like, go, oh, I don't want the hassle, and I'm just going to go up on the street. I don't want any drama, I don't want, but for you to stand strong in that situation where most people would have caved and buckled and just took in the easy way out. You, I applaud you, I really do. Well, Chidi, I've practiced this for a long time and I've made lots of mistakes. I've walked when I should have stayed. I've run when I could have walked forward. But this is everybody's practicing this day by day. Everything is pushing on us. Energy is coming in and we've got to dance with the energy. And guess what? The good news is start with very small things. Yep. Don't go for giant confrontations. But when you feel in your belly, in your gut, that something's pushing on you, then you it's for you to say, transform it, change it, modify it. Don't be in the way of it. Go around it if you can without losing heart and just keep practicing in very small ways. It might just be saying to someone gently pushing, are you aware you're pushing on me? Because many times when people are stealing our energy or taking our power, they're not bad people. They just don't know the effect they're having. So it's for me to say to them, excuse me, but you're pressing a little bit. Help them, help them to understand themselves and say, don't push so much back off a little bit and then be willing yourself if someone says it to you to say oh I I'm sorry I'm a little bit too forceful here then it's just a game we just learn every game we play it's an easier outcome but thanks for the interview Chidi bye bye